I don't know what this is, but it's pretty darn good. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, so doing another random movie review. Oh wow. But it is pissing. So doing another random movie review here, and this is actually one that a friend of mine suggested, but she suggested me, Miyazaki's Spirited Away. I've always wanted to watch this one, and there's a really strange story about it. February 2002, this was the first live Oscar show that I ever watched in full because I wanted to watch Lords of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring win everything. But I always remember that this film won Best Animated Feature, and I've always wanted to see it, but I just never got around to it, never seen it anywhere. And now that she's lent it to me, I can understand why people love Studio Ghibli movies. The attention to detail is something that I've never seen before. I'm not a big anime guy. I, I can't stand the padding. I can't stand how silly people talk to each other in that. But this was amazing to watch and to fall asleep to. Now, wait, 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 before you dislike it, let me explain. The first 30 minutes of this film, I was interested. I was interested in what the characters were doing. I was interested in the world that they were developing. However, at the same time, it was very, very pleasing to watch and to listen to. The music in this film is amazing. It is so good. It turns scenes that if you change them around, especially when What's-Her-Name goes to the boat and then all the spirits start coming off, if you turn that into a horror movie music, that you, you, you get a pretty horrifying vibe, but for something that's so strange and so mystical happening, the music that accompanies it is just wonderful to listen to. And I'm not gonna lie, it put me to sleep. I was only out for about 10 minutes, so I rewound back to where I was, but it's just that enjoyable to just have in the background. I can understand why people would want this as screensavers or just to have in the background while they're working because there's just this visual delight happening in front of their eyes. The story, on the other hand, is a little bit of a different story. It's all right, it's decent. However, looking up a certain fact about Miyazaki, it makes complete sense now as to why this film is the way it is and this why I couldn't sit through Totoro because he doesn't really have a script when he starts these. He kind of has storyboards, but even then the storyboards don't have the full story. He's making this up as he goes. He has a saying, it's not me who makes the film, the film makes itself and I have no choice but to follow. That's a cool ideology. But does that also kind of make it a bit of a absolute cluster in terms of a production? I can only imagine what the producers must have felt. Now they probably are like, you know what? He makes gold, sure dude, do what you want. But back in the day, when he started to probably maybe even the mid 2000s, hell, I wouldn't be surprised if it still happens a little bit now, the absolute nerve wracking tension the producers would have on this, the production company would have. Oh, you want us to fund a full movie with absolutely amazing animation and you don't know how the movie ends. Cool, that's not stress inducing at all. So you can kind of see these elements in the story. You see that the flow of the film is kind of just going with how the characters, really the creators, are coming about it themselves. As much as I think I wouldn't like that, I actually enjoyed it because it really places you in these characters' worlds. It really lets you enjoy what's around you. It's not hammering you with story. It's not hammering you with plot. It's just kind of some basic stuff, but like kind of basic duties, but it's all about building the character. The girl in this film is going through her own kind of adolescence at a, admittedly a very young age of 10, but she's realizing the values of her own life. She's realizing the values of hard work and, well at the time, it meant hard work and you will be rightly rewarded. That's not obviously how it is now, but being just a good person, being a grateful person, and that really is hammered home really well without even being pretentious. I love the animation with the witch, the main witch, the main witch granny. Oh shit, when she's like duh, 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 around, that was so cool to watch. There's so many moments in the film where it's just like, wow, that is amazing, I can't believe they did that. When the supposed stink monster arrives, when they're wrapping the string around the thing that's embedded in it, really, really cool parts. But then the end of the movie is essentially wrapped up in a cram film. 15 minutes. We find out about the Dragon Boy, we find out about the other granny, we figure out about Mr. No-Face, we 
figure out how to get her parents back. There's so much shit that's just crammed into the end. You can just kind of see Miyazaki being like, okay, oh crap, all right, I gotta finish this. I don't know if that's actually how it goes, but that's just how it felt for me. The ending is very, very jam-packed. It's a lot of exposition, it's a lot of in your face. The whole saving her in the water flashback thing that just was dipped into and I kind of wondered what the hell was that all about and then they're like yeah let's bring this back in it's like whoa it was a lot to handle it was a lot to take in otherwise though I really enjoy this film from a visual perspective am I going to pick it up again and watch it probably not it's not my cup of tea but I can appreciate great when I see it and this movie is definitely great in the end my personal opinion I'm going to give Spirited Away a five out of seven I enjoy this movie it's a wonderful beautiful thing to watch. If I ever did watch it again, I would again have it on in the background while I'm doing something else, maybe like writing or working on an essay or this actually would be pretty nice to have on in the background for photo editing. I might do that next time. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Stay safe and wash your hands. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.